Yo, what's going on? This is Rigi from 80 Proof. I'm going to show you how to use your rock band drums to control Reason 4 on the PC so that you can load up sounds and make beats and whatever. See, I've got those sounds loaded up using Reason. So to do this, of course, you need Reason. I'm using version 4. Uh, I'm sure any other version would work. And uh, you need this software here. It's called uh, eDrum Monitor. Uh, you can Google that and download it. And then you'll also need uh, this software here called MIDI Yoke. It's a virtual MIDI driver. You download it from MIDIOX.com, M-I-D-I-O-X. So you download MIDI Yoke, uh, install that. And uh, once that's installed, you go to eDrum. The first time you open eDrum, it's not gonna look like this. It's actually gonna be completely blank. Just, uh, like that. So the first thing you wanna do is go to Options and go to MIDI Devices. Uh, sorry about the bad camera work. Uh, yeah, you go to Options, MIDI Device, and you're gonna select a MIDI output. Uh, basically, you select any of these MIDI yoke uh, outputs. It doesn't matter which one you pick. I've selected five, but it doesn't matter. You can pick any one, and then hit OK. Uh, once you select the output in eDrum, you go into Reason, go to Edit, and go to Preferences. And uh, you're gonna go to your keyboards and control surfaces, which you get to from the pull down menu here. Uh, I've added a generic uh, MIDI controller here and uh, basically you're just going to select the input as the same output you selected in eDrum. So as you can see I selected uh, input 5 which is what I selected as the output in eDrum. Then you hit OK once that's done get out of here. Now what you want to do is teach eDrum how to convert uh, the game controller input of the Rock Band drums to uh, MIDI channels that Reason will understand. So you first thing you do is go to Tracks and uh, New Single Track. It's going to create a track here. Now you're going to teach eDrum the input of the Rock Band drums. So you click Learn. And when I hit learn, I'm going to, once I click learn, I'm going to hit one of the pads, the red pad on the rock band drums, and you'll see uh, it'll pop up there. So I hit learn, hit the red pad, and you'll see there now, eDrum knows that the red pad is J2. So now you want uh, reason to do something with this. And as you can see it now, whenever I hit the red pad, uh, the green meter pops up, so you know it's working. Uh, so now you want to select the right MIDI output um, for this particular channel. I figured out that, I, like, I don't know much about this stuff, but I figured out that uh, output 36 through to 40 uh, are basically uh, the keys of, uh, on a keyboard, like C to E, which would control, like when you uh, select Reason and uh, you select the redrum and you press keys on the keyboard, they control whatever samples you've selected, right? So, uh, you see I've mapped that to 36. Reason knows, or Reason would think that that's the uh, pressing C on a keyboard. So now whenever I hit the, uh, the red pad, it'll play my kick drum, which is the first sample I have selected in the redrum. So when I hit the red pad, there you can see it's uh, playing my kick drum. So now you just want to do this uh, for the other pads and as well as the kick on the uh, rock band drums. So you just create another track, new single track, and uh, you're going to make it learn again. So you hit learn and then I'll hit the yellow pad. So now you see the yellow pad pops up as J4. Now and it automatically defaults to uh, MIDI output 37, which reason knows as uh, C sharp I guess. and uh, my second sample there is the snare. So now whenever I hit the yellow pad, I should hear my snare. And of course the kick still works. So that's basically what you do. And now you just repeat that for uh, the other pads and the kick. And the nice thing about eDrum is once you do this once, you don't have to do it over and over again every time you open it. You can actually save the settings. So I have my Rock Band settings saved, so I go to File, Open, I have my settings saved here. And there I've got all four pads and the kick uh, mapped out to uh, 36 through 40. So that whenever I go into Reason and my redrum is selected, I've got five samples selected there. 
and uh, they're all working on the Rock Band kit. And the kick. And that's basically all there is to it. So uh, have fun with that. Peace.